Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you Lord's Relic system. You probably heard about it. It's a new feature from patch 8.0 which is coming to EU this October. Before I start explaining, I recommend to subscribe, because here on this channel you will find various content regarding the world of iron. News, guides, tips and sometimes funny memes. I also appreciate if you like this video and leave a comment. Such things help reaching YouTube recommendations. Now let's get started. When your character reaches level cap, which is level 85 in the next update, you can talk to Markutan or Kaisenel in Absaranta and activate the Lord's Relic. This relic grants additional benefits upon the upgrade. You receive such things as bonus stats, passive skills, ultimate fighting spirit weapon selection box and WoW stones. By the way, uh, WoW stones will be explained in a separate video. You can upgrade the relic up to level 300. Bonus stats will be applied at each level. Meanwhile, passive skills, fighting spirit weapon and WoW stones are given at specific levels. Details can be seen in your screen. For upgrading the relic, you will need goblets with holy water. Just click the goblet and it will add one level to your relic. There are two ways how to obtain goblets with holy water. The first way is to do quests in Absaranta. As you can see from the table, the number of quests isn't really high. However, you can do them on your alts, because goblets with holy water are storable in account warehouse and even tradable via broker. The second way of getting goblets is crafting. You will need such materials as Iosol, Shimmering Liquid and Alchemical Vessel. Iosol is given when you capture garrisons. Moreover, there are also Io crystals, which can be assembled into Iosol. Io crystals can be obtained from hunting monsters and by doing quests. It's also possible to get Io crystal by gathering resources in Absaranta. The second component for crafting is Shimmering Liquid. You can acquire it from some quests or buy from Black Market Trader. This vendor spawns at one of 15 possible locations in Absaranta. More details about Black Market Traders will be provided in a separate video. Now let's move to the last material required for crafting. It's called Alchemical Vessel and uh, from my personal experience it's the hardest item to obtain. I will try to explain why. So, uh, it drops from the supply bundle and uh, this supply bundle can be purchased from NPC in exchange for patrol report. Somewhere on the new map you must find an injured soldier. Talk to him and he will give you his log with secret information. Bring this log to one of the patrol officers located nearby garrisons. He will read the log and give you the report in return. And only then you can buy the supply bundle. I swear without exaggeration, it took me literally two days to figure out how to get this report. So this is how you obtain the materials for crafting goblets of holy water that are needed in order to upgrade Lord's Relic. In the end I would like to add a few words regarding the relic and its benefits. As I already mentioned, you can upgrade the relic up to level 300. However, for doing that, make sure the House Flame of Fate for Osmodians and Dagger of Silence for Elios has a sufficient level of fame. Otherwise, the upgrade level for your relic will be limited. Details can be seen in your screen. All benefits you receive from Lord's Relic are temporary and will be removed at the end of the season. So far I have no clue how long the season will last in EU version. I can only say that in Korea the season lasted until patch 8.2. And that's basically it for today's video. If you have any questions about the game, feel free to ask them in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video with your friends. Keep in mind, I really appreciate if you support the channel via donations. It's a strong motivation for me to keep doing these videos. 
If you want to donate, check the links in the description. Thanks for watching and see you soon.